Much more common than people think is to have a blood clot that comes from the legs usually and travels through the blood system up in through the heart and into the lungs. Now, normally when blood goes to the lungs, we capture oxygen there. If a clot comes up to the lungs, then it blocks blood flow. And so we don't have good oxygen to the lungs after that blood clot. And so it's a huge problem that people have. Now, usually it's people that have swelling of the lower extremities. So it's somebody after knee surgery, somebody that's in heart failure somebody that's in a protracted hospital bed stay, where they're on their back in bed for a long period of time with an illness. Uh, those people are prime candidates. Some people have blood clotting disorders. Uh, some people when they're in a trauma car wreck actually, and don't hurt the knees, actually you can get fat that comes from bones that can get into the bloodstream. That's another cause of emboli. Since we're blocking the blood supply to the lungs, or part of the lungs, the symptoms are usually shortness of breath. Uh, you have pallor, you feel anxious. There's chest discomfort and pain. Usually you lean forward in order to get some relief. You know something's wrong that's going on and you feel very uncomfortable. Sometimes there's a feeling of impending doom, like, I think I'm gonna die. If those are symptoms you have, then you need to be sure that you call 911 and you get the ambulance there because there is good treatment. So the symptoms are chest pain, sometimes we cough up blood, very fast heart rate, uh, diaphoresis, sweating, and I know I'm sick. The treatment is, number one, if it's a severe one, there are clot busters. Same thing when we have strokes and when we have heart attacks. There's medicine that will help dissolve that clot before we get too much damage to the lungs. But let's look at chronic pulmonary emboli. Those are little bitty clots that are thrown to the lungs and sometimes there's 10 or 15 or 20 that are thrown over a period of three or four or five days and you just feel short of breath and just sort of feel uncomfortable. Those there are tests to see how much oxygen is getting from the lungs to the blood system. We can get oxygen saturation, we can get a ventilation perfusion scan, lung scans, but your doctor has to have a high incidence of suspicion and he will if you come in and tell him what your symptoms are. Pulmonary emboli, the big ones can be very dangerous. Up to 50, 50, 50% of people will die. The small ones, usually we do a good job, put people on blood thinners. Sometimes we have to put a sieve in the vascular system to keep those blood clots from keep uh, coming to the lungs.